So before we get to doing any kind of AutoCAD, we're going to take a look at this drawing and see if we can figure out some unknowns. So to make our drawing experience a lot easier. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look and see if I can figure out how long that line is. And you should be able to tell that the total distance of this object goes across is going to be our 2.75. So that is the total length of that. And if I subtract the 1.75 and the 0.5 away from that, I should get the remainder of what this line is. Now when we switch to AutoCAD, I will also show you the built-in calculator function that AutoCAD has into it, but you're going to still have to know these same principles. So now that I've figured out that line, I am totally okay. And then I'll take a look around so I can see that I can go up this direction. I figured out that line. I can figure out the distance of this line by simply subtracting this number here from that number. Once again, there is a calculator function in AutoCAD. And I will do that for a couple of these steps. But we can see that the basic math of this will give me a distance of 1.25. Continuing up. Next, I need to figure out how long this line is. Well, this line, once again, deals with the total distance. So everything on this horizontal, and this line is falling in this horizontal direction, is that the total length of my shape is the 2.75. Therefore, if I take the total length minus the two other horizontal lines to get there, which is this line, and this line, it should give me the distance that I need to calculate this line. So that number should be the 2.75 minus the 0.75 and the 1.75. Continuing our way around so we have that line figured out and we now have to figure out this vertical line. So the line is flowing vertical so therefore I'm going to reference a vertical distance of the total distance of my object. So I'll use the 2.25 as my base, I already know how far it is from this point all the way up to here, and that's going to be our 1.75 number. So if we simply subtract those two from each other, we should be able to calculate how long that line is. This line, the distance of this line is given to us. Going down this direction, once again it's a vertical line, so in order to calculate this line, I'm going to take the overall vertical dimension which is the 2.25 and then I'm going to subtract the 1.5 as you can see because that makes up all the way to the distance that I need to get to that length. This distance of this line is given to us by one I mean sorry by 0.75 and then this vertical distance we can simply subtract our 1.5 minus our 0.75 and you can see that that will give me the distance of this line. The line going horizontally here is given by the 0.5 dimension and then finally I have a vertical dimension which is given to me by the 0.75. So now I can visualize it in my head before I even start AutoCAD and now let's take a look at how we're going to proceed to do this in AutoCAD. Okay so starting with the line command which is located here on the ribbon and I am using the AutoCAD 2021 version, so if your ribbon looks a little bit differently, that's the main reason. So let's start with the line. First thing I always like to do is read my command line. It's asking me to specify my first point. So it's asking me either to type in what my first point will be if I'm using any kind of Cartesian system, or simply clicking a point on the screen to, to tell AutoCAD where I want to start my line from. So I'll do a left click here and now you can see that my line is kind of going up and down where if you refer back to the drawing all of those lines are horizontal and vertical so one simple step that you might want to use is turn on the ortho once the ortho is on all I have to do is point a direction and give it the distance so I'm starting at the lower left kind of inside point I'll aim this direction 
and type in 1.75. And to tell AutoCAD that you're done entering or inputting any values, click on the enter button on your keyboard. I'm just scrolling in with my middle mouse wheel just to zoom into my shape. Next I want to go up in the upward direction and I can see on the drawing that that dimension is simply 0.5 and I'll hit the enter button and that tells AutoCAD that I'm done inputting my value. Next I want to go this direction so this brings us to that first line that we were trying to create or trying to figure out that dimension. So we're going to try to figure out how long this line is. And if you remember, like I said before, we're going to take the overall length of the horizontal, which this line is horizontal, and then we're going to subtract the other two lines, or dimensions, from it to give me the remainder of that line. Okay, so now I want to use the calculator, and I'll show you that function. I'm going to type in the apostrophe symbol, and that just lets AutoCAD know that I'm going to use a command while I'm inside of a command. I'll type in CAL, which is the shortcut for a calculator. And then I'll hit the enter button just to let AutoCAD know that I'm done typing in. And then now if you read on your command line, you can see the word calc and expression. So I'm going to type in 2.75 minus 1.75 minus 0.5. Once I hit the enter button, it's going to calculate that line. So you can see that that dimension of that line is 0.5. And I'm just going to undo this step back and just to show you and to make sure that there's one point that you need to do. So I'm going to use the undo that's in my command. And you can see that brings me back to the point that I was at. Now before you invoke the calculator command, make sure that you're aiming in the direction that you want it to go. So I want to go this direction, apostrophe C-A-L, enter, 2.75 minus 1.75 minus 0.5, followed by the enter button, and that'll calculate and do that for us. Next, I want to go up, and I can do the math in my head on this one, so I'm just going to simply Drag in the up direction and make sure that you're getting the preview from AutoCAD. Type in 1.25. Followed by enter. I'll go to the left. And if you want to use the calculator function again, we're going to make sure that we got the line previewing the direction that I want it to go. So I'm just pulling my cursor over this way. And you can see that, that line is giving me a horizontal. Apostrophe CAL, enter, 2.75 minus 1.75 minus 0.75, enter. You can see that I'm trying to figure out this line. So the values that I used were this overall, and then I subtracted this, line, this dimension and that dimension for it, and it should give you the distance of that line. Okay, so from here you can see that AutoCAD did calculate the distance of that line is 0.25. I'm going to go in the up direction, and I'm going to type in a distance of 0.5. I'll go to the left a distance of 1.75. Let's go down a distance of 0.75 and make sure that you're hitting the enter button behind each one of those commands to let AutoCAD know that you are done with that line. I'm going to go to the left a distance of 0.75. I'll go down and I'm just making sure I'm showing AutoCAD that I'm going in the downward direction. 0.75. Go back to the right a distance of 0.5 and then I have the option of closing this or I can type in a dimension of 0 0.5 sorry 0 0.75 and once I hit the enter button I'll hit the have to hit the escape button to get out of the command but if you use the close function it'll go back to the first point that we started with and it'll also end the command
So hopefully you enjoyed following along with that, and I hope I gave you a good uh, definition or, or, or insights to how AutoCAD is creating these lines and some of the things that you can do to help speed up your keystrokes. Thanks.